So let's go with part one, the importance of the budgeting process. First of all, I will talk about the general importance. So with a budget process, the companies don't miss the big picture. What do I mean with this? When we are working on a daily basis, we are focused each area, each professional, each individual, each department is focused on some specific things. There are a few people and sometimes maybe not even the CEO is looking at the big picture all the time. Even the CEO, he or she will have to solve problems. Sometimes they are specific problems. The sales manager is thinking about sales, the cost manager about uh, calculating the costs, maybe other people reducing costs, other people in inputting invoices in the system, and all the different activities that a company has. With the budget process, everybody, or at least uh, the main executives, are obliged to think about the big picture, to take a look at the overall results, to take a look at the company as a whole, in order to understand if we take determined alternatives or paths for the next year, what is going to be the result? And you start to align strategy and financials. So it's a very important moment of the year because it's an important for everyone to think about the overall results of the company, to take a look at the big picture. I worked in a company in which they set uh, a specific target. There were three targets. $550 million in net revenue, 45% of gross margin, and $50 million in net profit. So the CEO wanted everybody to have this target in their heads. And sometimes the person who works in human resources, in IT, they don't care or they don't know what are the margins of the products, but they should because the company depends on it. So he made people uh, stand up and start screaming 550, 45, and 50 for, uh, I don't know, 5 to 10 times. But it's an opportunity to involve everyone and make everybody think about uh, the goals of the company and take a look at the big picture. The second point is to enhance control of the finances of a business. When we prepare a budget, we usually go in detail. We usually analyze account by account. And when we have a budget, in the next year, we can compare about this budget. We can perform actual versus budget analysis. This is something that we are going to do a lot throughout this, this module. So when you do this, you are controlling your finances in a much more accurate way, in a much more detailed way. So definitely having a very good budget process will help the company to have a better control over its finances. The third point, ensure the business can fund its commitments and projects. This is extremely important. So imagine that a, a, a company, a manufacturing company, they want to expand production to increase sales. In order to do this, they have to buy two machines that cost $14 million, for example. With the profits that we currently generate or that we are forecasting, will we be able to have these amounts to invest? So if you prepare the budget, you have this in a very clear way. So do we have the money to do what we want to do? And if we don't, what would be the alternatives to raise funds, for example? Another point, it helps uh, the business to make more confident financial decisions. As I mentioned, the budget is a very detailed planning. When you have a very detailed planning, you feel more confident to go to one way or to another. If you do all the planning, if you know very well your sales potential, 
the cost that it takes for you to provide a service or produce a product at what price do you want to sell you can make much better informed decisions another point restricts any spending that is out of the plan so when you do the budget you usually justify the expenses that you are including and in the next year if you want to do something different uh, and it's out of the budget you will need approval for this so usually the companies they avoid they avoid running away from the budget unless it can be really a justifiable thing but if you don't have a budget you can have many different ideas throughout the year start spending money and implementing without knowing if the the company will have these results or not and the company may end up wasting money or spending more than the necessary next point make sure that money is allocated in a way that is aligned with the company's or the organization's strategy so when you prepare the budget you usually have to consider what products are going to be launched which new services are the company go, uh, is going to provide what is the strategy of the company is it an aggressive growth is it just uh, for example in a period of pandemic to try to think make things uh, stable and the budget reflects this and the money that you are going to allocate to different activities already incorporate these strategies another point it helps everyone to understand the priorities of the business how as I mentioned if the company imagine the, that the executives are seeing that in their sector there, there are opportunities for an exponential growth and they're going to invest a lot of money in a determined product or service or app but at the same time they want to keep costs at the same level the budget communicates all of this to all the employees because if you are setting targets let's say sales targets and you are seeing that the company is planning to double the sales volume people they have to understand how and why are we doing this okay or if the company is undergoing problems and we need to cut expenses the employees will understand that okay we have less budget because we need to be more profitable otherwise the company may go bankrupt the budget process is an excellent opportunity to communicate the strategy of the company through numbers to all the departments because every area has its own budget even if it's only expenses it's still a budget it increases engagement and ownership as I mentioned every area has its own budget sometimes uh, if you go to a sales team each individual may have their own targets aligned to the budget when there is a target for yourself for your area and when you participate in the creation of the budget pro uh, of the budget process in defining the numbers you will feel more responsible for it if you have your bonus aligned to um, to meeting the budget or not you will feel more engaged so we will have this sense of ownership I'm the owner of this number I'm responsible for delivering this result can highlight strengths and weaknesses of the business so if you allow every department to calculate their budgets according to their own premises and you consolidate this maybe when you consolidate everything you will see that the company is not going to be profitable or will be less profitable than last year so you start identifying okay where do we have problems what do we need to fix so this is extremely important 
If you prepare and you see that you are capable of delivering higher margins, you are capable of selling more for a higher price and a lower cost, it can show the company that there are many strengths in different areas. And when we do practical examples with numbers, this will be much more clear. It improves results predictability. Let me ask you a question. If you were the owner of a business, would you like to know in advance, at least approximately, what will be your sales results and what would be the profits that you would have at the end of each month? I bet you said yes, right? Predictability is Make, makes people more comfortable and more confident in their companies. And it's the same thing for shareholders, for investors, for executives. If you have a clear idea of the results that your company will have at the end of a certain month, at the end of the year, it is much better for the organizations because you are only going to make very well informed decisions and you are signalizing to the market that you truly understand your business. So predictability is very important. You have an, a better idea if the company is doing well or the company is not doing well. It helps to keep the company in the right track. Why? Because if there are deviations, if you, sell, if you sold less than you should, if the costs are higher, if the expenses in a certain department are higher than the budget, you are going to analyze why, and you will have to find a way to fix this. So, doing the monthly comparison of actual results versus the budget, you will be able to put the company back on track if you have uh, unfavorable deviations. It provides a horizon and a benchmark for financial health. If you don't have a budget, the company may be profitable next year, but is that good or bad? Could the company be more profitable? Are we leaving money on the table for any reason? If you don't have a base to compare, this gets very complicated. And a lot of companies, they do mid-term and long-term budgets as well. So in order to know where do you, in order to, to reach growth, you need to know how are you going to get there. And the budget is an excellent tool for you to analyze. For example, when I worked at Red Bull, they wanted to increase the sales of, of Red Bull cans from 100 million cans in Brazil to 400 million cans in five years. So the budget helps you to identify how are we going to do this? What will be our cost behavior? Will we need a bigger team in order to do this? The headcount will grow, the expenses will grow. So what will be the consequences? If you don't have a budget, you would just throw this target, but how are you going to get there? It helps companies to attract investors. So startups, they usually do budget projections, forecasts, in order to try to convince investors to invest on them. And the company can make uh, the decision-making process much more transparent. So as I mentioned, you choose where are you going to invest where are you going to put your money in advance? And then in the next year, you can say, okay, we are taking this way because this is what we planned. And everybody was aware of this, okay? So it's much more transparent why we are investing in product A and not in product B, for example. Things that cause discussion on a daily basis in a company. You take these decisions in advance and people are aware why the company is doing this or that.